morning children teacher sonia here welcome back to class once again children have you read the story about the oak tree and the reeds well if you haven't then this is how it goes once upon a time there lived a beautiful and majestic oak tree but he was very proud and arrogant because he was big and strong every day he would look at the reeds growing beside him and say to them look at you you are so weak and frail why don't you stand upright like me the reeds replied we may not be strong like you but we are happy and we feel safe you call yourself safe exclaimed the oak tree you are so weak anyone can tear you off the ground you can't even stand straight like me when the wind blows the oak tree soon had to be sorry for a strong and violent and vicious storm arose and tore the oak tree from its roots pushing it onto the ground the little reeds bending to the force of the wind stood upright again when the storm had passed this lesson the golden bird is about a golden colored bird who like the oak tree thought that there was nobody better than her and just like the oak tree she too learned her lesson now let's read the golden bird and find out how she learned her lesson before we begin let's discuss the meanings of some new words that you will come across in the lesson to help you understand the lesson better meanings of words groomed brushed and cleaned fine very soft thin and small feel sorry for feel sad about set her free let her go out of the cage so that she could go wherever she wanted tossed her head moved her head back proudly feed find food funny strange and not nice to see swung off into the trees moved from one tree to another by swinging onto the branches slithered moved smoothly and fast twisting its body now the next word students is chameleon we do not say chameleon we say chameleon because a chameleon can camouflage so the word is chameleon a type of garden lizard that can change its color to match the place it is in rude not polite not showing any respect darted away moved away quickly slid moved quietly and quickly quite still not moving even a little flew straight past her flew to the other side without seeing her exclaimed said loudly with joy looked after made sure she had food and was safe now let's open up your books to page number 43 and let's read the lesson there was once a king who had a golden bird in a golden cage every day someone in the palace gave her food and water and groomed her fine yellow feathers and each day the bird sang for the king but as time passed the king began to feel sorry for the bird it's not right he thought to hold a bird in a cage and so he told his men to set her free the men took the cage deep into the jungle set it down opened the door and went away the golden bird hopped out she looked around she was hungry so there was this beautiful golden bird who lived in a palace in a golden cage and all she had to do was sing for the king but one day the king felt sorry for her and decided to set her free so the king's men took her into the deepest part of the jungle and set her free now let's see what happens next after a while she saw a monkey swinging from a tree hello there said the monkey who are you the bird tossed her head and said i am the golden bird i can see you are new to the jungle said the monkey do you want to see the best places to feed what can a monkey teach me replied the bird and you have such a funny face have you seen my beautiful beak she added do as you like said the monkey and he swung off into the trees so the monkey came to help the bird but the bird was rude to the monkey do you think the monkey was happy with the bird's response no the monkey was not happy and he swung off into the trees leaving the bird behind some time later the golden bird heard a hissing noise in the grass and saw a snake well hello hissed the snake who are you i am the golden bird replied the bird come let me show you the jungle said the snake 
No, said the bird. What can a snake teach me? And you have a hissing voice. Do you know I sing beautifully? Maybe, hissed the snake and he slithered away. So a snake came to help the bird and the, and the bird was once again rude to the snake. So the snake slithered away leaving the bird behind. Now let's see what happens next. Just then something moved on the tree in front of the bird. She looked up and saw a chameleon. He was the same color as the tree trunk. The bird was rude to the chameleon too. So he left her and darted away. Now the bird was not only rude to the monkey and the snake but was also rude to the chameleon. So the chameleon darted away leaving the bird behind. Suddenly the golden bird saw a large eagle fly. The monkey hid among the leaves of the trees. The snake slid into the deepest part of the ground. The chameleon stayed quite still. No one could see him. The golden bird now wanted to fly away fast. She flapped her wings but they were weak. She had never used them in the king's palace and now she could not fly. Please someone help me, she cried. So the animals spotted an eagle flying above looking for prey or food. How did the animals react to seeing the eagle? The monkey hid between the leaves of the trees. The snake slithered away into the deepest part of the ground and the chameleon stayed quite still because he was camouflaged and nobody could see him. But what happens about the golden bird? The golden bird tries to flap her wings and fly away. But she had spent all her life in a cage and did not know how to use her wings. So she cried for help. Now let's see what happens next. At that moment, the golden bird felt something like a rope pulling her into some bushes. It was the snake. Then a long hairy arm lifted her up a tree. It was the monkey. Don't move, whispered the chameleon and pushed her into the center of a large yellow flower. The eagle flew straight past her. How can I thank you all, exclaimed the bird. You saved my life. You can sing for us, replied the animals kindly. From then on, the monkey, the snake and the chameleon looked after the golden bird and she sang her beautiful song for them every day. So finally, it was the animals that is the monkey, the snake and the chameleon that came to the bird's rescue with the eagle hovered above. The snake pulled her into the bushes, the monkey lifted her up the tree and the chameleon pushed her into the center of a large yellow flower camouflaging her that the eagle did not see her and flew past her. Thus saving the golden bird from the eagle. What do you think children? What is the nature of these animals? Even though the bird was rude to the animals, the animals were only kind, forgiving, helpful and friendly. From then on, the monkey, the snake and the chameleon looked after the bird and all she had to do was sing her beautiful song for them every day. Isn't that a beautiful ending? A happy ending indeed. Now children, the golden bird is a moral story. A moral is something that we learn from. And what did we learn from the story? We learn that being proud or pride can get us into trouble and it also highlights the virtue of kindness. In other words, good people can change others by their very goodness so we can live in harmony and friendship. Now let's discuss the answers to some of the questions on page 46, exercise B. The first question, the king began to feel sorry for the bird. What did he do? He set the bird free. The second question, do as you like, said the monkey. What made the monkey say this? The bird was very rude to the monkey and did not want him to help her. The third question, no, said the bird to the snake. What had the snake just said to her? The snake told the bird that he would show her around the jungle. The fourth question. Suddenly, the golden bird saw a large eagle. What did the monkey, the snake and the chameleon do? They hid. The monkey hid among the leaves of the trees. The snake slid into the deepest part of the ground. The chameleon stayed still. The fifth question. The eagle did not see her. How did this happen? The three animals, 
help bird hide. The snake pulled her into some bushes. The monkey lifted her up a tree. The chameleon pushed her into the center of a large yellow flower. The last question, how can I thank you all? How did the bird thank the monkey, the snake and the chameleon? The bird thanked the monkey, snake and the chameleon by singing her beautiful song for them every day. Children, I hope you enjoy reading the lesson with me. If you have read any moral stories before, then I want you to write down the name of the story and the moral of this story on your homework book. I will see you soon again with another lesson. Till then, take care, stay safe.